Hi, you're watching Charterhouse TV and today we're filming part four of our IM Lagoon 50 tank build video. It's situated here in our Hartford HQ and today we're filming the best bit, adding the livestock. Yeah, so to give you guys some context, we've already uh, released parts one to three, which basically detailed everything from building the cabinet and setting the aquarium up all the way through to scaping the rock, filling the tank with water. And at the end of part three, we added some uh, Fritz turbo start to start the cycling process. Now, if you haven't already seen parts one to three, probably now's a good time to watch them before you carry on with this video. So we'll put a link up in the corner now. Now, uh, we've, like I said, we've added the bacteria, we've cycled for the last few weeks and the cycle's gone pretty much as expected. And um, the only problem we've really encountered is one that was probably expected and that was a little bit of algae in the tank. So to combat that, we've added some cleanup crew, we've got some conch snails, um, some hermit crabs, um, uh, stuff. <laughs> yeah, tuxedo urchin and also a reef safe uh, boxer shrimp. So as Steve said, we're now at the stage where the parameters are where they should be and the exciting part is actually adding the corals. Now, we felt like when adding the corals, it was the perfect opportunity to introduce part of the website that some of you are probably aware of, but some of you might not be. And that's the fact that we actually sell invertebrates online that can be delivered directly to your door. So the first thing we should explain is what makes our uh, livestock so special. All of our livestock is supplied by our partner, Ecomarines. And the name says it all really, Ecomarines source all of their livestock sustainably and as eco-friendly as possible. Yeah, and there's a couple of ways that we try and ensure that that happens. So the first is working with like-minded partners um, who are um, collecting corals from the wild and being like-minded, they want the reef to survive and secure their income in future. So we work with people who are willing to do that and if you like, be caretakers of the reef as opposed to maybe doing something else to um, earn their money that might be more damaging. Now, the other side is the aquaculture side of things, and we work really hard to ensure that um, we grow as many corals as we can in captivity. Now, when a colony comes in, um, obviously all of the risk is in that one colony, and it's quite expensive for you to purchase. So by fragging that colony and growing it on, it not only means that you guys have access to a beautiful coral at a relatively lower price, but it also means that some of that coral's legacy is placed within your guys' tanks. So on the site, when you're looking at the corals, um, you'll see on some of them that it's got a really strange word on there that we get asked a lot, what does that mean? Uh, it's WYSIWYG, and basically that means what you see is what you get. So if that's on the coral, that's the actual piece in the photo that you will get. Yeah, and when it actually arrives to you, it's going to arrive via a licensed livestock specific delivery service. Now that obviously ensures that the coral gets to you in as good a condition as possible. Now they do a couple of things to ensure that that is indeed the case. The first is that they collect from us very late in the day and then they deliver to you always on a pre-12 service. And that just means that the transport time for your order is as short as possible. Um, they also are aware of what's in the box being a livestock delivery service. So it doesn't go on a conveyor belt um, like maybe some more traditional couriers would use. And it means that when it gets to you, the coral is in as good a condition as possible. And that kind of brings us full circle as to what this video is actually about. And it's about stocking our IM tank. And we've actually had one of these deliveries arrive today. So it's the perfect time for us to um, take a look at that so you can see how your delivery might turn up to you, unbox it and see which corals we've chose to go in the tank. So here we have your box of corals as you would receive it on the morning of your delivery. As you can see, we make sure that the courier knows exactly what's in the box. There's tape uh, with live fish on, stickers, uh, the correct way up stickers as well, just to make sure that it's handled as carefully as possible to make sure the corals get to you as they should. Yeah, so I know what you're all thinking, uh, you wanna know what species we've got inside. I'm pretty excited as I'm sure Steve is. So let's get the box open and take a look at the corals that we've chosen. So your order will arrive in a poly box, much like this one. Uh, we use these because they just make sure that the temperature stays at the correct range for yeah. the, for the corals or invertebrates, yeah. whatever you've got in your order. Um, also, you will receive a heat pack if it's a uh, cold temperature outside, sometimes two, depending on what the weather's going to be like. And also some paper there as well, just to protect the bags. 
from, yep, the, from the heat pack. Yep, once you've got that paper out the way, you're gonna see uh, this, which is an acclimation kit. So every single order comes with one of these. Um, the first thing you're gonna see is just the acclimation instructions. Um, that's got some details that just highlight how it's best to get your corals acclimated to your aquarium. And there's also some tips on there for if you've um, ordered specific corals or maybe anemones and things like that. So that's really handy. And then you're also gonna get a flyer which just details some of the products that we're using in the fish house. So which salt we're currently using, which food your corals have been fed on, which is always handy information. And then you also get a bit of airline, which if you follow the acclimation instructions, you'll need to get the water draining from your tank into the bucket that you've probably got your, um, your order contents in. So that's also pre-knotted, which is pretty handy, and that just makes sure that you get that perfect drip rate. So that's that bit done. Uh, on to the exciting bit. Let's yeah. have a little look at the corals. So the first bag we have here is the uh, rainbow mushrooms, Redactis. So these are a really great starting coral. Yep. Um, they're easy to, they're, basically they'll frag themselves. After a while you'll get small mushrooms growing and also easy to frag themselves. But these are tank grown uh, corals. Yep. Uh, next bag, we have got some more mushrooms actually. So some furry mushrooms on a rock there. Again, ta tank grown, again, a great beginner coral. Um, so they're gonna give um, some really nice life and movement in the tank. What else have we got? Uh, and oh, this is so a big one. one for the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one here, we've got a euphilia, so a torch coral. As you can see, this one's actually um, based on a piece of foam that just stops it from uh, banging the sides of the bag and damaging any of the polyps yeah. or the, the tentacles. So make sure it's in as good a condition as possible. Yeah. These are, again, a really good uh, coral to start with but you need to be a little bit more mindful of some of your elements because of it's an LPS they have got a stony um, skeleton uh, so you need to make sure that your elements are correct yeah your foundation elements yeah. are right for them we obviously in some of the previous videos asked you guys which corals you'd want uh, to see in the aquarium torch came up a lot so don't say we didn't listen to you that one's for you guys um, next, we've got some green star polyp frags. These are, again, another great beginner coral. And what's interesting about these is they're really great at growing over, say, the back wall of your tank or on the weir box in your aquarium. And that's what we're gonna try and do in our tank, get these um, growing, they're quite rapid growers, to try and get them um, covering uh, some yeah. of the back of the aquarium. And another one, one of my favorites, we have a small plate coral there, a fungia. Um, these are a, another tank grown coral um, and one of my favourites, they've had a lot of movement, really nice, but again, an LPS, a stony coral, so you need to make sure um, that your trace elements and foundation elements are correct. Yeah. Yeah. If you need any help with that, then you can look on the website, all of that information is on there, just so you know what levels you need to be at. Yeah. So that's a rainbow fungi, so it's going to add some nice yeah. colour. But then the last coral that we've got, certainly for this initial stocking, is my favourite coral. It's a Cataphilia, a elegance coral. And this is going to be the centrepiece of our aquarium. They can open quite big um, in the tank and they're quite fast growing. So it will make a really nice feature in the uh, tank. And we're hoping maybe our clowns might host in the elegance. So um, I guess that's a good point. Maybe start getting the corals acclimated. Yep. So we're going to jump to that now and then we'll come back to you guys once they're positioned in the tank and we'll look at them in a little more detail. have it the corals are all in the tank they're all in place everything's looking nice and healthy um, and we're really happy with it so to give you guys some um, idea it's about 48 hours since we actually first put the corals in place 
Um, and as I said, everything's looking really happy and really healthy. And that's a testament really to how well rested they are in the fish house before they are delivered to you or in this instance to us. Um, and also the care that's taken when shipping them, which you saw uh, just a moment ago. Um, when they arrive to you, um, hopefully it means that they're going to acclimatise to your tank conditions um, as quickly as possible. Now, the corals are in the tank, and I know what you're thinking, it might still look a little bit empty. Um, we, we agree with you, but it was done on purpose. We obviously don't want to overload the system. It's the first um, coral shipment that we've had and put in the tank. So we don't want to take it slow and we'll add more corals as time goes on. But also, if you've only got a few corals that are the species that you've chosen, it means that you've got the luxury of putting the corals in the perfect position. Um, so I guess that's a good time to talk about exactly where we've ended up putting each species. Yeah, so on the front right hand side, we've got the furry mushrooms and rainbow mushrooms. They don't like a particularly um, strong flow, so they're uh, shaded from the flow as well as light. Um, they like a, a sort of a low light, so they're shaded by the reef rock, which is a, a good place for them. I'm sure they're going to do really well there. Yeah. Um, also, we've got the fungia plate coral at the front right hand side there as well. Again, they, they like a, a moderate light, but the flow, they don't like a, a direct flow. So they're in, it's in a nice spot there, uh, indirect flow. And again, we think that's going to do really nice uh, and good in that spot. Um, also, there's some frags in there, some zoas and some montipora that we brought in ourselves from our own tanks. Um, and they're doing really well, filling some of the gaps. Um, and the torch coral sat there in the middle. Um, they like a little bit more light, but again, they don't like to be battered by flow. Um, so we've put it there. It's a little bit shaded from the flow. It's getting a little bit of indirect flow and it's uh, moving around looking really happy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that side's looking great. And then this side, we've got the green star polyp on the back wall. We used a bit of reef glue to glue it to the rear wall of the chamber. And as we mentioned before, we're hoping that's going to grow over the whole back panel. So we'll keep it trimmed and going where we want it once it grows. So that should look good. It might take a while, but it's going to look nice when it's done. And then we've also got the um, kind of the star of the show, the elegance coral. Different to some of the other corals we've got. I don't, again, like a real direct flow, but they do like more of a, we've found more of a pulsing flow. Um, so we've got that on this side of the tank where we've got the power head, which is on a pulse mode. And already it started to open up really nicely. You're starting to really notice the lilac tips. This is a lilac tip elegance. Um, so once that's been in for a while and settled in, that's going to make a really nice centerpiece. Um, it's worth just noting here, you'll see we've also got some fish. We have mentioned in some of the other videos and on a few clips we've shown you guys of the tank before, but we've got a pair of tank bred clowns and we've got a fire fish. We are going to add some more fish. We really want some colour, maybe like a mascot fish. So it'd be really good to hear your guys' suggestions. So feel free, leave a comment below and let us know what fish we should put in the tank. So there you have it, a series of videos all the way from choosing the aquarium, the equipment, getting it scaped and cycled and adding the livestock. Um, if you want to keep up to date with this tank, remember to follow us on all of our social network uh, medias and we'll update you on there. Yep, absolutely. And if you've got any questions regarding um, the equipment that we have used and we chose or the tank itself, or actually if you've got any questions regarding ordering livestock that we've introduced in this video, remember, comment down below, feel free to get in touch and mine the team will be happy to help. As Steve said, don't forget to follow us on social media channels. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. If you are subscribed, hit the bell notification to stay uh, notified of new videos coming out. We've got some really great content coming before the end of the year. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.